Oh, look. There I am. Oh, look. <laughs> Whew. Well, <clears throat> it's Monday. Monday, April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. Good morning. Hope you're good. Hope you're well. Hope you're happy. Hope you had a good good day yesterday. If you uh, celebrate such things, it was Easter. I had, uh, had some dinner with the family and some dessert and stuff. And, you know, the kid's 15, so of course he got the he got his candy and whatever else. <clears throat> just kind of just kind of hung out and did his thing. You know, which is which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> it's how it goes. It's how it goes. So, either way, I hope everybody did have a good weekend. Well, Friday, Friday the uh, demo for Stellar Blade came out, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a great, great game. Um, plays very well. Combat is absolutely amazing, and it's difficult, and I like that. Why wouldn't I, you know? I mean, if you've been to my channel, if you've seen any of my YouTube videos, if you've seen my TikTok, you, you know that I just... I like difficult games and I make a lot of content on difficult games. A lot of which hasn't been seen very much lately. It seems to be kind of seems to be kind of filtered due to uh due to the main character being the main character. So it is it's currently one of the uh so the last 3 clips that I put out uh, they are the lowest viewed uh, clips after 24 hours that I've ever posted. And I have posted up a still picture with words and music in the background. And that got way more views in 24 hours. So I'm, I feel like the game's kind of being shoved down, like pushed off to the side. But it's whatever. I don't care. I think it's a great game and I'm going to make tons of content on it because I absolutely enjoy it so I think you should too aside from the from the main character and you know the assets of the game it's a really good like well put together game in terms of you know what we have seen so far with the story and the combat it's been a lot of fun I put out a video on uh, I put out <coughs> excuse me after Friday, I did play through the demo again, recorded the whole thing, put that up on my YouTube. And then after I finished the demo, I had played the the boss, the boss mode that's there and managed to beat it without healing. So I put that up on the YouTube as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff that I have out that you should go and see at some point in time. Some people are really complaining about the difficulty. Some people are complaining about the character itself. Some people are like, well, I'm not supporting it because creepy dudes are going to be creepy dudes. I'm just like, some of us just like difficult shit. We just like to, we just like to enjoy a difficult game like this. That's what it is. So, I mean, which brings me to my, to my point of just why I just, you know, I'm playing Sekiro because I want to. I'm actually decent at it, so I continue to play it. And We are playing Vanilla Sekiro on New Game because I, over the weekend, was carrying some groceries and somehow managed to, to pull a muscle in my forearm here. And uh, it hurts when I grip. So when I'm, like, blocking... Or parrying or something, I can feel it in my muscle. Uh, it'll it'll probably calm down in a couple of days or whatever. But uh, you know, so we're we're playing vanilla because I'm a little more comfortable with that, and 
I wanted to be back on a schedule, a regular schedule, and putting VODs up again because last week was kind of crazy and with the the health healthcare stuff and the surgery scheduling that I have to do tomorrow and you know, it's kind of one thing after the other, but it's okay. It's okay. I digress. Uh, we got games to play and, you know, trying to hang out with y'all. That's what we're doing. So let's boot, let's boot up this game real quick before I swap over to the, to the other screen. Make sure we're going. But yeah, this is this is on a game that I just finished. Um, so it will be new game, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And there's no video. Super. There we go. Now there should be a video. All right. All right. Got to make sure we have controller support now. Yes. Yes, I do. Hopefully you can hear everything. Hopefully you can hear me. You can hear the game. Everything's good. Clearly you can see me in the corner of the screen there because I can see myself. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the... Get the planner. I went past the beginning stuff. Like, so now we're here and we just get to continue on. We'll go talk to Emma. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. Mm. I am a doctor serving a Echo somewhere. Master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety. I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm, however, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creed. I am a doctor. Okay. I like what is it? What? We've all seen this. This no. Or yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this dialogue. I don't know. Goodbye. All right. I don't know. <clears throat> there's either an echo or it's really loud for me. That's all. I hope there's not an echo or. The kind of weird audio stuff here. It's like the audio issues. They love to. They love to just make a. Make a mockery out of everything that I do. But I mean, <clears throat> you know, whatever. It, it's good because then I can be, then I can be more well versed in fixing the problem if there ever is one. All right. <clears throat> Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. But. Whatever. Do go kill stuff. Don't yell at me. I've got time for your shenanigans. Here. Go up there and kill something. Go. 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 Go fight. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> uh, okay. 
it is, it's tough sometimes. I gotta, you know, remember where everything is. I'm trying to. I mean, these are important things. They're detrimental to your, to your, to your quest. <laughs> to your quest to be the greatest shinobi who's ever lived. <laughs> as it's, as it's just a ceramic shard. Like, yeah, dude, super important ceramic shard. Thanks. Uh, I don't know what you thought you seen. <laughs> Alright, so we got two right there. Let's go right here. Alright, so we'll take him first. Oh yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, we kinda we kinda botched that one a little bit. Oh, hey, what the? All right. I mean, stealth is always an option. Just saying. Should be some more resistance over here somewhere. Okay. Um, don't think there's anything over here. <clears throat> well, not that I remember. I know there's a there's a bundled Jizu statue uh, somewhere down there. Oh yeah, I already got this, so I don't have to do that. All right. Let's just at least uh, communicate. <clears throat> Better to just go this way. Yeah, I was gonna play uh, Resurrection, but it's a little more, <clears throat> it's a little more intensive, like, <laughs> and for me, having hurt my, uh, hurt my arm, like, yeah, it's, uh, I need to play something just a little bit slower. Where is Mortal Draw? Oh, I don't have it yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, I'm, you know, pretty sure I did that. Uh, we'll just, we'll just keep one mind out. Why are you not targeting? <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> a little less flash, a little more pay attention. <laughs> Loyal wolf, take my blood. And yeah, yeah. Again. Get up. Get up. You're supposed to jump there. Yeah. 
Damn, bro. bro. Damn it. He hits pretty hard. <laughs> Are you gonna do something? Do it. Do it. So, it's April Fool's Day. <clears throat> Telling you, if you're gonna be a prankster, make sure it's cheeky, fun. Don't be a jerk. Good fight. They're all so hesitant about it. Is the other dude still alive? <laughs> Will you, man, come on with this shit. Getting on my damn nerves. Taking forever with this shit. Come on. What? Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright. We need to just wait for him to go on about his day. You know, I could have had him, like, <clears throat> take aim at the guards up there. That's always a good thing to do. Oh, man. <clears throat> Now I gotta wait, what is it, 23 days for, for Stellar Blade to come out? The combos are so fire. Just, they really did such a great job with the, with the combat system. This battle, you think it can be won, I fear we may not prevail. Nope. You he won't. Just fine. Look, Ishii may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have Yobu the demon. Ah, Yobu of course. Wait, what? Good point. As long as he is with us. Oh, it's the no big dude. The, the big dude's suspicious. Easy there, big fella. Whoops. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that. Everybody around here is dead. There's no one for you to kill there, big man. Uh, who is... Yes. 
Wait. Did he find somebody to fight? You're doing great. <laughs> as long as you can figure out how the stairs Try work, you're doing great. <clears throat> What's going on, man? I am not your son. You go on head, oh, what? You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mutton. Well, yeah, yeah. Give, give me the bell. I <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the bell. Matt, I hope you're having a good day. Hope yesterday was good. I should go kill him first. Go take out Rocket Man. <clears throat> Rocket Man! Here. <clears throat> kill stuff down below. I have business to attend to. Well, not really, it's just... I know where the merchant is. <laughs> yeah, happy Easter, bud. I'm not leaving today, weather's keeping me in. Oh. Yeah, I'm, it's supposed to rain today, where I'm at. It rained pretty good last night. It's supposed to rain again. Did you just, did he wipe out everything down here? No. There's one left. Did he see me? Yeah, he did. Look at all those chickens. Over here. Man, what's from Hirata? I must pay my respects, Lord Kuro, Lady Emma. Now I will, <clears throat> I will put this vod on YouTube. So if you watch from YouTube, thank you. I appreciate it. You could also use this as sort of a walkthrough if you need to. Because of those that pursued me. I'm 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 rather thorough when I play this, so well I try to be. I don't <laughs> I, I don't when I, like I don't have the platinum for this yet, cause I just I don't know. I have more hours in this in in Sekiro than I do like any other From Software game, so well maybe not maybe not elden ring this, these two are probably the same uh, i know you <laughs> took him a second yeah ah, i know I you yeah. no, no, mm -hmm. i listen you and i was like the only person so i'll start yeah it, useful and dialogue if you haven't you seen it just make sure you experience it purchase the info here's some coin now talk. Yeah. Yes. Talk. Yes, yes, yes. Say right. stuff. So my get oh, right. what? And did that that well, yes. Yeah. Uh, you list for uh, Mm-hmm. So you'll purchase the info. I'll buy some information. Thank you. 
And then he's gonna tell you about this. <clears throat> I have one. I'll tell you. This. I said. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Never mind my dialogue, because we already have it. But I will show you what to do. If you don't know, don't fall down there. Okay. Make sure your movements are a little more fluid than that. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna teach you everything. But this part, because I, I have some friends. There's a couple of odd gamers that haven't played, uh, or haven't gotten very far, but. This will be helpful to to the odd gamers as a whole. Realized I was sitting at an angle, so now you'll you'll go back to the dilapidated temple. Now that you have the bell, you have the bell from the old woman in the house. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. <clears throat> there are two reasons why you're doing this first. <clears throat> but you're not going to be here for very long. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts. I mean, because this is a new game, I could just, like, and awaken stroll all the way through it but I'll I'll do this I'll do the path of least resistance I was so proud when I got the Sekiro Platinum, and I was amazed it was the most platinum from soft game. Oh, jeez, I didn't know that. <laughs> what happened? Uh, thieves. How do you, you might. What happened? Uh, what year? Let's Tell go ahead and go happens. through this dialogue. Yeah, on um, on the PlayStation version, I think I have like. 35% of the trophies left to do. Grab that. That is important for later. Oh, you used to mean can't get up there now? That sucks. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna have to hope that the the guard's not right there. I think he is. I think oddly enough, the guard is like glowing that spot. Maybe. No. Okay. Oh, it was a knocked over, knocked over lantern. But the objective is to not miss that jump and end up right here. <laughs> and then you kill the guard that's coming and grab the item on the left and then... Mm-hmm. It's fun, I'm telling you. Sekiro's not hard. It can be. <laughs> Sometimes it gets away from me, and then I'm like, damn it. Looks like you're either you're either good at this game, or you're 
or you're not. That's it. <laughs> like, there's, you could be mediocre. You can't, I mean, you can't win like mediocre, but it's a little, it's a little tough. Like, I tried to learn this as much as I could before I, you know, proceeded to make content on it. <laughs> like, <clears throat> Because people will come into your comment sections and be like, you don't know how to play this game. <laughs> somebody, somebody wants me to do the, somebody wants me to no hit Ishin. <laughs> like, dude, that's a, that's a tough order. In the, in the water, <clears throat> he won't be able to swim yet. But there are these treasure carps right here. I mean, you won't be able to swim underwater, but you need these 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 treasure carp scales. They're a good thing. You see the little gold, the golden like carps in the water. You want to kill them. They're just like crystal lizards. If they see you though, they're gonna take off. Wait, what the no hit demon of hatred. Yeah, you can still you can still do the the demon of hatred glitch. And then there's another I think there's one or two more in the water over here. But here's a pot, bro. A different, a different kind of pot, bro. All right, lots of good stuff here. <clears throat> I did not buy this yet, but it's useful for reduced burn. The police, up. they are after me. <laughs> You get divine grass, red lump, mask fragment. Uh, <clears throat> I only recommend getting the whole mask together if you've like finished the game once. Like, don't don't bother trying to get the whole mask together like the first the first playthrough. Yeah, I'm, like using them on the mask. But um, I definitely. I already have the mask, so I don't, I don't really, <clears throat> cause I like what I do. If it's a first playthrough, I go through the whole thing, go through the whole story till I'm about to start new game. And then I go and get all the carp scales and shit and then go get the mask and then use whatever skill points I have left over to, uh, increase my power level and then I start the next game. Oh yeah, that, that attack power definitely helps. But I I do recommend it like after a first playthrough, like get to the end of your first playthrough, then get the mask. So when you start new game, then you have the mask and then all your skill points. As long as you have like all of these, you don't have to worry about anything else but once you have all of those skills unlocked you can just you can just spend all your skill points on attack power <clears throat> I did the bad ending first playthrough made the second one rough uh yeah <clears throat> trying to fight um trying to fight up there in the dojo like the second time mm-hmm Oh man, he's he's tough on new game. Grandpa's extra tough on new game. Oh 
Oh wow. They killed the they killed the puppet I had on the bridge. <laughs> Sometimes they just they get them. They get them good. It was my first run. Didn't have my bearings yet. Yeah, I've played through and many times just <laughs> All right. Go here. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought that was the <laughs> hug the wall button for some reason. Oh man. You know, use the corners to your advantage. definitely helpful to manipulate the camera so yeah kill him first and then go back here cool there's some sirens going on people all drive like shit in my neighborhood like all the time there's roundabouts over here and people don't know how to use them <laughs> like they get into roundabouts and then they just lose all their sensibility and shit and just start fucking crashing into shit and just like dude why like, it, it's a roundabout like how hard is it for you to grasp this concept <laughs> like just all all hope abandon all hope with the fucking roundabouts. <laughs> hey, hey, what the fuck? Stop that. They are the reason insurance is mandatory. Holy shit. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> if that really is the case, that's fucking. It makes sense. Because. <laughs> Cause a lot of people in my city just can't get the fucking roundabout together. Like they can't, <clears throat> they don't, they don't get it. Just like what I need to yield here. Wh what, <laughs> just, what do you mean? I can't just fucking speed through here. Like it's just part of the road. <laughs> Common courtesy for other people. Are you kidding? Who the fuck does that? Oh my goodness. We're in a bit of a pickle, dick. Are you kicking dirt at me? Alright. Here, hold on. Hold on. I got something for you. So typically, you come back here. There's one guy right here. Right here looking through this pot facing the wall. Another one right next to dude and then one out in the courtyard, but we've already killed those three. Or no, maybe two of them, we only killed two of them. I was saying, nah, I've been teaching my friends how to ride motorcycles. I always say it's never yourself, it's the other assholes you gotta watch out for. You definitely know second of more than me. Three playthroughs was enough. Yeah, I, I, like, so, 
like I said, there's there's the story of how I've like come come to start like playing these games regularly and it was because they always seemed interesting to me and I would always buy them and then play them and be like this shit's too hard and then give up and then just move on <laughs> so then I was like man and because I'm like I'm kind of frugal like in a sense like, so if I pay money for something I want to get my money out of it so I'm like, well, <clears throat> I paid for this shit. I might as well learn how to fucking play it. Like, <laughs> just maybe I did four or five playthroughs, Matt says. All right, there's a couple of dogs, a couple of enemies. What you need is over by that fire. Make some more damn noise. You're fucking super stealth right now, bro. Super stealth. I don't know why this is here. This doesn't make any sense. I think it was from <clears throat> I think it was from when I un when I uninstalled the mod I was playing. It left this. So that's super weird. But yes, this is not a modded version. This is a vanilla version of Sekiro on New Game. But what I'm going to use here is this. I don't see too many. Like, I see people using sugars for fighting and shit, but nobody ever suggests these for, like, playthroughs and shit. It's like, look at that. He can't see me. <laughs> and now you got yourself a little puppet archer. Oh man, he's seen me. I thought you were doing the research. Resurrection? Yeah. I am, but like I said, I. <clears throat> well, you weren't here, uh. You weren't here when I started the stream. I uh, I was carrying groceries, and I guess I carried too many groceries, and I fucked up my forearm. So, since I'm trying to be back on schedule, I still wanted to be here, so I'm still playing a game. So that's why I'm not playing Resurrection right now. I need a couple of days. You know that that's what happens when you you know when you get to 43 like you you accidentally carry too much shit and then you pull a muscle and then it's fucked for like four days what the hell that dog is still alive well let him come Now, you won't have this ability on your first friggin' playthrough, so I recommend, like, complete stealth through here. It is, it is way easier when you stealth everything through here. But yeah, don't get me wrong, there's always the Leroy Jenkins approach. Like, you can, you can definitely do that. If you can handle yourself and you can parry kind of well, you, you'll be all right. Like I said, it's always the Leroy Jenkins approach. <laughs> Just spam rivers of blood. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> yeah. Just spam mortal draw everywhere. Well, once you have, once you have the blades, you can't. What you're looking for is this item. This. 
See, it's a fistful of ash right now, but there's a um, the flame barrel. This thing. Whoops. I thought I had my my shurikens out. Okay. Yeah, you lose the blade once you start a new game. Talk to him. Worthless bastards. He tells you about his shinobi axe. Go this way first. Grab this. Open the shortcut. That's if you die over here. If you die over here, you can just simply, like, run right back up here. Since everybody's dead, I can just run back and show you. So there's your... There's your sculptor's idol. And then... Just back up through this way. <clears throat> Now you can do this in any order you want to. You can go do that shit over there first with those two guys. Or you can go over here and do this. I would do this first just because it's closer. You hear them? No, leave it. They're gonna go on to the next talk about doing stuff. We could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your shit? We do not take from Buddha. Alright. <clears throat> so I recommend to kill the heavy. To see it makes it makes him easier to take out. And then you open this up. And then you grab that the the axe that's supposed to be here. This is not going to be a bundled Jesus statue. It is going to be uh, this. Where is it at? It's going to be this right here, which you will need at some point. So, <clears throat> for now, you're done with this area. You can just go back to the temple. So they won't they won't be they won't be ready to go yet. The the two items you picked up, the flame barrel and the axe. So you'll have to go in here. So it was that for there is the great mood, but you always make sure you exhaust the dialogue. And then you'll present fit new and then it'll the options will be highlighted for you to fit. You also upgrade your prosthetic tool here, which I haven't really done much of. <clears throat> I only upgraded two of them. This is a very useful tool. A lot of people like to use it. I haven't. But gets you to get the long spark. And then you get the sparking axe. And then you can get this stuff. Which is all very useful. This axe is very nice. I think this axe... This axe is probably the best out of all of them, in my opinion. Yes, right. Good yeah, thing. don't do anything funny with it, right. Mm -hmm. So now that you did all that, make sure you don't have any dialogue here. I saw. Yes. I saw. Uh, yeah. Where is he? He's being kept the gate to the... I see. 
Um, I'm gonna go visit a merchant. Actually, yeah. Yeah, well, you go here first. Now, hopefully, I can do this properly. <laughs> this part sometimes sometimes I mess up this part pretty bad why would you ever want the rooster to be a puppet like what I broke go on okay does he have any coin yeah he does but he only has five of them shit So, the reason why I'm doing this, if you don't know, <clears throat> you will lose Sen when you die. So the best thing to do is when you have a bunch of Sen is go to a merchant and buy a bunch of coin purses because you can't lose coin purses when you die. And then therefore, you will not lose your coins. But, quite a few useful things here. I do need some more divine confetti. I don't really need coins for anything. I'm not doing any kind of speed runs. Fuck, give me give me all you got. <laughs> By the way, good sir. All right. I'm thinking By the way, good oh, sir. What is it? Do you, you tell He's going to he's going to tell help you him. that uh he, he wants to expand his shop and he wants you to find out some information through eavesdropping. Which you will do in a little while. <clears throat> I don't feel safe with that big bastard. You get a trophy for all the eavesdropping. Gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens, I'm pretty sure. Only choice is to use fire. <laughs> Don't quote me, I could be wrong. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamation? What a joke. What a joke. Sure has a funny way of preparing for war. All right. <clears throat> so, I always recommend to take out whichever one gives you the most trouble. If you have trouble with this dude that I'm focused on right now, I would take him out first. Not because he's the easiest one to take out first, but he'll he, he's he's the one who's the most stubborn about dying. That's all. This one over here, he doesn't really care. <clears throat> he'll just swing at you. You know. All right. We got to go uh, mess with this big dude over here. So you went through that first part of Harada estate for two reasons. One is to get these because they drop quite frequently over there and to get this. So equip the two of them. Just run up here. If you don't have the Makiri counter yet, should be able to overpower him quite easily. Let him follow you. Drop down. Over here. Just hang out in the bush for a minute. Take a little sip sip. Now because of where he dropped, he's gonna be kinda hard to see. So be careful with this one. You can target him from... Yep, see him? See, he's, he's, he's a little difficult to see unless you know what you're looking for. You can see him right there. We're gonna sneak up on him and get a free... Visceral. Oh, 
Now get out of here because this area sucks to fight anything. Throw some oil at him. Come on. See, the red eyes don't like fire. Watch out for that. Alright. I'm gonna heal up. <clears throat> I was like, why, why is he not attacking? <laughs> so you just want to kind of bait him, bait him into attacks. And then just kind of dodge out of the way. And there you go. A heavy coin purse. And forward progress. And that. All right. <clears throat> now, close attention because this part sucks. What you're going to do is you're going to grab these items in here, and then you're just going to go. It's going to run. <clears throat> you're going to run past all this shit. You can go over here, drop, and rest. Reset the area. And you're gonna take this awesome little route. Kill him first. And kill him. Then this one. This one over here. One around the corner. Fast enough you can get him before he turns around. And then you got those two down there. We're gonna kinda do the same shit that we did with the last the last big enemy. Actually maybe I should turn him into a puppet. You won't have puppeteer ninjutsu yet until like later in the game but I have it right now so I'm going to use it right now but your objective would be to kill him okay and then once he's dead just kind of get up here and you'll hear the you'll hear the fight music start kind of head back down here until that music is gone Chances are he killed that goon rather quickly. You can get out your flame vent, and if you have any oil left. This this will help you here. Of course there are times when he might be able to see you. I don't I don't know where he is right now. That didn't make any sense as to why the music just popped on. But whatever. <laughs> Where's he at? 
Alright. <clears throat> we should be able to get him. So if you do it right, you get him before he turns around. You get the free... You get the free visceral attack. Oh, these dudes are still alive. Are you... Come on, man. Are you fucking serious? Bro. See? You see what I'm talking about? That dude's always so damn stubborn to die. It's like the other one, he just doesn't care. Just go swinging at him and then eventually you get a red dot pretty quick. Hey, Domingo, what's going on? Welcome on in here. All right, now we can get back to the original plan. There he is. And give him a little, give him a little stabby stab. Throw some oil at him. Not that much. Now, it says in the beginning of this game, hesitation is defeat. Don't hesitate. You'll be just fine. Okay, on we go. Grab this. a note there's an enemy called headless it is too early for you <laughs> I promise you if it's your first playthrough it's too early for you but we have some other stuff we need to do go down here here uh no i don't need to do any kind of resting lots of rumbly don't just drop down there you'll take you'll take some damage and this early in the game is pretty significant Snack. Snack. Sup, Snack. Whoa, don't do that. Get down in the grass. Over here. Run in the cave. Drop over here. Jump over here. All right. <clears throat> Stay in the grass and uh, wait for Danger Noodle to do its thing. Hug the wall and head over. Get in the hut. And... Bam! First run over here. Grab that.
And go this way. Up you go. Oh shit! You gotta be fast, otherwise Danger Noodle will catch you. And you will die. Wait, wait, wait. There's an item over there. You go over here. I think it's a sugar. Yes. Rest. Don't need to rest yet, but if you need to rest, make sure that you do. Head up this way. He's going to give you some information about the upcoming boss fight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Kill him! Ease his pain! Take him out. Hear a story. Yep, I know what the story is, so I'm not doing that. This is it's a pretty grim looking place here. We're gonna turn him into a puppet. Because you won't have it just kill him and go back here and grab this item. But we're gonna let him have some fun first. I am covered in blood. Holy crap. How's he doing out there? Terrible. He's getting shot. Get up, man. Fight back. Fight back, sir. Oh man, what a lame. You didn't even kill one guard. How's he gonna do? Oh man, he angered the big fella. <laughs> He's, he's doing terrible as well. He's got about the aim of a damn stormtrooper. This is... This is ridiculous. Bro, you couldn't hit the broad side of a bug. You couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. What a... what a lame... Who's doing what now? <laughs> I was hoping he was gonna do something about it. It just, just took him forever. All right, get this stuff in here. Now, with again, without puppeteer ninjutsu, just. Just stealth it. Just stealth it all the way through here. It's really, really easy to do, I promise. Just put a little thought into it. And again, Leroy Jenkins always works too. Okay. I'm gonna get some firecrackers. I'll do it with the Shinobi firecracker. Now, in the in the mod, 
one of the mods. There's a there's a whole ass like there's a mini boss fight in here. And well, I think I might have showed you all that. I don't know. Maybe maybe I didn't. But there's a mini boss fight right down here. And you kind of have to drag him into an area so you don't trigger the actual boss fight in this area or you'll have to fight a mini boss and Gelbu. Yeah. That's not fun. Okay. Let's uh let's find out what this dude's name is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he got me good there. <laughs> Ooh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. So, I find it's best to just to just fight him, like to to parry him, like instead of just you know going around and like running and running and running and you know let him come to you. He will. Kicking my ass right now. And then just, just pay attention to the prompts. very very sloppy but uh yeah that's why i recommend parrying him it's so much easier to just to just parry that boss let him come to you don't chase him around pay attention to the prompts you'll do just fine and then once you do that make sure you enhance your attack power Don't forget about that. Right, rest. All right. Um, do, 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 do. um what? Oh yeah, open the door. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> easiest way, just run all the way up, kill them, dodge the bullets. Uh, we gotta go up, right? Yep, go up. <clears throat> this is part of a quest that you need to do. So you're going to go over here. As long as you have the axe. This will be easy. <clears throat> Let's kill him. Yeah. 
it's a little secret about another side quest. The land of Ashina will not last much longer. What about our black hat? Then that's where we're going. But keep your wits about you. And he's telling you. Black hat badges won't go down. <clears throat> yeah. Telling you about where they're going next. Alright, pick one and go after him. Now these stupid hats. That's how you deal with that. That's why you have the axe. Now these dudes give out lots of, lots of skill point. So once you do that, you want to go back here. You'll go this way. over here first <clears throat> grab that go up here it's a merchant indeed indeed right they have stuff for you to buy I'll ex I can explain the dragon's blood droplet thing they also have gourd seeds should always buy this gourd seed as long as you have it you should buy it buy these coin purses so I don't run out just in case more divine confetti where you find wherever now you could spend your cent on whatever you'd like but there are a few things that you should get that are completely recommended the first merchant is where you get the firecrackers make sure that you buy the firecrackers this is the second merchant over here with the gourd seed. Make sure you buy the gourd seed. And then whatever else you buy is whatever else you buy. But this is why you went to go kill those three uh, little dudes over there. Mm. Uh, you go through all the dialogue. They'll tell you about the rats. You'll accept. And since you did that already... Yes. He'll give you this. This is the ways of the ash. It's our school. You just wait. I hope it can be of us. Yeah. <clears throat> and he tells you that, uh, yeah, we're we fight. It's it's not pretty. We just need to win. Just you know. Um, in short, dubs a dub. You know that's <laughs> it's uh. That's how he, that's how he handles this, you know, dub's a dub. All right, so we go this way, up here, right here, and then just jump. Get this. <clears throat> On the Chizu statue, I think that's a, I don't remember what it is, but it's a useful item. Uh. Not not everything is gonna be a bundled Jesus statue. Jizo statue. It will be like useful stuff that you have to collect for this. <clears throat> Grab this. Open the door. Now you can see where we are. There's back to Gyobu. Just drop in and head on back and get on with your day. Another boss fight coming up here pretty quick. You can see a shiny over there in the distance. All 
All right. <clears throat> so you'll typically go through here, kill all this stuff. Make sure you have some shurikens. Do 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 do, and you're gonna come out here, kill him. Well, and then the uh, the crazed wolves. You can take them out relatively quick with shurikens. <laughs> But yeah, what's supposed to happen is you'll kill the you'll kill the gunner that's with the wolves, and then those two will be talking up on the stairs, and then you just do what you came here to do. I wonder if I kill him early, do I miss the opportunity for the eavesdrop? Probably. <laughs> oh man he got a little aggressive on me but yeah they uh they're having a talk right here and then you can just sneak up take one of them out and move on watch out out for the gunner. Got a big boy right there, and there's going to be another one off to the right. But he doesn't come out until you, like, get out of the grass for some reason. See? Then he starts pathing. Go ahead and take him out first. him do is swinging get out of the way you can block or parry that or whatever it is that you so choose to do With all of them dead, you can just continue on. Go up here. Whew. Got a crazy itch in my ear. Most of that was watching Resident Evil. What's up, John? All right, so eavesdrop. We're really trying to use that thing in the battle. I know, I know. But what choice do we have? Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're in no position to worry about what others might think. Yes, but hey. Keep it together. <laughs> yeah, but you want a detail, and when it's mad, it doesn't discriminate between friend or foe. All right, so beast, you can grab your firecrackers, and then again, like stealth kill whichever one, whichever one you think is going to give you more of a problem.
I am good with the Nakiri counter, so I always take out the gunner first. Gunner or swordsman or whatever. Alright. So now, you're going to make sure that you have your firecrackers equipped. Go ahead and kill him. Don't worry about those two. Now, I like to bait, like get this bull over here. <clears throat> bait the bull into attacking in this corner. And I, I try to fight the bull unlocked because it helps with movement. Now it might not be the best for your camera, but I notice that I take a lot less damage when I fight the bull unlocked. Firecrackers. Just, you know, dodge when you're supposed to dodge and just kind of try to stay away from the front of it. You can parry this bull. It's entirely possible. Don't try to overdo it on the firecrackers or they won't work. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna like kind of dismiss that like message for right now because if I go look and it's some bullshit I'm not gonna be happy Yeah, I, I pretty much knew that it was bullshit because as long as they've already made people wait and then as sure as 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 sure as they are that the the game is coming out that day, they wouldn't push it back. Like the only way they'd be pushing it back is if they added something at the last minute. That'd be wild. <laughs> All right, Thank nice lady over you here. Pray? Oh, you Heard of Senpo Temple. Oh, yep. Thank All right, so you can get things if you pray with this lady. Any one of these balloons, just go ahead and like use one. It is that, is it? <laughs> Alright. She'll tell you that you have a pious temperament and then she'll give you stuff. Just do... You don't have to do... You, you can do this as many times as you want to. But you only get... You, you get the same item each time. From each different balloon that you use. Divine confetti. Someone like you could stand with the divine child. Mm -hmm. Those monk scoundrels always chase me away. Sorry, old lady. 
I think we used all of them. Did we? Yeah. No, wait. Did we do all? No. Yeah, yeah. So once you get done doing all of it, that's what you last get is a divine confetti. You can, um, there's another point in time. She'll ask for rice. Do not give her the rice. Go ahead, story time. Yep. Okay. This isn't open yet. Now it is. Look at that, we opened a door. Look at that, we opened another door. <laughs> this and then there is uh, another door surprise <clears throat> we're gonna do this part first So yeah, we get this unlocked, and then you go back and go on about where you're supposed to go. With your forward progress. not where I want to be so if you ever do get lost you can always just use your homeward idol and it'll take you back to your last commune idol or back to the dilapidated temple now <clears throat> this part kind of sucks so <laughs> you see that there are six enemies up there Okay, one of them is a mini boss. You are gonna run up there, and then you're gonna take them out one by one, avoiding the boss. I will show you how to do this. There's a good chance I might fuck it up, but you'll get the gist as soon as you see it, all right? I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming back. So you get this one first. This one. This one. And then grab the last one. Run away. Go over here. Well, not in the water. Now I don't remember how to get out of this water. It's not this way. <laughs> so, anyways, as soon as I remember how to get out of this water, because I never really fall down here. I don't, I don't understand why I can't get out. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So yeah, if you fall in the water, you can go back up here. But typically, once you do all that, you just jump over here to this branch. Because now he's by himself, you're going to go do this real quick. Get this eavesdrop. I heard you were the one that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, you're making us think about it. 
was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? Give you some information. Frame and massive strength, and you just made him near impervious to blame. That is true, but he doesn't like that armor, and he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. So I've never figured out who actually like what what enemy you you get to take the armor off of with a certain kind of um, with a certain kind of shinobi tool. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. You have the gatehouse key. And now you're gonna go... And, uh... Taunt. You're gonna go and taunt this, uh... This one up here on the stairs. By now, you should have this skill unlocked. So... You're gonna go up here. Up here. Go ahead and collect all the coins that were on the ground. Make sure I have stuff equipped. Go ahead and get your flame vent. Equip your oil. Stabby stab. Throw some oil. Bird! You know, do better at dodging and, you know, parries and stuff than I did. Whoops. So now, that move right there. If you have trouble with this boss, you can do that and just kind of go away. Cause he does hit really, really hard. You can also keep setting him on fire. Oh, he's about to die. <laughs> Whoops. You get a heavy coin purse. So, these, these big dudes here, like, they're pretty sensitive to fire. So. Alright, grab this. And like there's there's gonna be another mini boss mini mini boss like that but otherwise like in my opinion that's that's pretty much it for like the the, the tough like leveled mini bosses like it's there are some challenging ones but it's not that bad I'm gonna do the stuff above first, so it's gonna be an enemy right there. Let's take him out. Alright, so he kind of patrols this little area over here, so. Now you can go down and kind of clear this out a bit. Alright. <clears throat> 
So there are quite a few enemies over here. You can try to take them all out if you want. I mean, you need to for a quest. A little side quest. But <clears throat> there are easier ways to do this. So we're just going to let them go back where they go. While I sip some coffee. All right. <clears throat> They're done being angry. They should go back to their posts here. Well, that wasn't how I wanted things to go. I kind of want to... Well... I may as well kill him, because you have to deal with the ambush anyway. Wow. I'm getting jumped over here. Not good. It's not good. Maybe I'll just go back and wait a sec. I'll let them go back where they need to go. Wait, what the fuck? How did you get over here? out here for just a sec so they can't see me and then they can go back where they're going and then I can get up for a quick little little break here for a sec I will be right back How did I die? <laughs> it's funny. Michigan, most ruthless champion has ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's it's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm so there was nobody around. How did I die? All right, whatever. Anyways, I can show you how this quest works. If you die a bunch, you start to give people dragon rot. Wrong. Cough. Yes, dragon rot. Okay. Go ahead and listen to that. He'll tell you to go talk to Lady Emma. Have you seen? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. However, does he forgive me? Okay. I do not know. I am unsure. Thank you. A bad guy came out of nowhere and killed you. Yeah, I thought I thought everybody was dead over there, but whatever. Um. I still don't understand. It appears as though your body come and see me. I will. Okay. This power, it's said to those who have repeated. Make sure you exhaust all of her dialogue. Must be the first step is to goodbye. Okay, so now go ahead and rest. We'll reset things. See, Emma's not there. This Emma's right here. What are you doing? Hmm? The skull. I took a sample of this blood for my sample. Tells yes, you about blood samples, yes. things I like that. Okay. Goodbye. <clears throat> Dialogue about blood samples, but you're like, I have no idea where to get a blood sample. Where the hell do I get a blood sample from? So you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Stupid bad guys coming out of nowhere to kill me. 
It's okay. It's all right. It's good to get this quest going anyway. All right. So you'll go through here. Back through this. Up this way. Now, you can kill everything again if you want. I just run through here. And then get over here. Hurry up and talk. Get the blood sample. Okay. And then go ahead and homeward idle. Go back to the dilapidated temple. <clears throat> and you'll go over here. Talk to Lady Emma. I'm glad. Give that. A blood the coloration is but what? Do you have enough? I believe. Allow me to when we speak it okay. in fact. Goodbye. You go over here. You will rest. Talk. I've been waiting. Any progress? Yes. The source of the dragon rot. What causes the stag? The blood has only. Listen to the dialogue. Attempt. The resurrection. From. I believe so. For those, the natural light. Their blood has stag. Can it be cured? Okay. Yes. Here you are. Okay, and then they get, she gives you the item to cure the dragon rot and the recovery charm. And now you can do this at an idol. So you'll go to the idol. And then you'll go down to... Where is it? Oh, right here. <clears throat> go to Dragon Rot Restoration. Select it. Yes. Okay. You have cured the Dragon Rot successfully. Now back to Ashina Castle. Do 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 All right, so the big brute's dead. You don't have to worry about that. You got these guys up here to worry about now. see him off in the distance over there you can kind of see his head you can sneak up on him from the other side oops I wasn't very sneaky I guess Again, a lot of stuff, you can just, you don't really have to parry it, or you can just be aggressive with it and manage. You'll be just fine. Like, I'm not saying that <clears throat> you shouldn't parry, but I'm saying you don't, you don't have to parry everything. Like, some of these enemies you can just aggro right through. All right, we're gonna go get this other part moving. Go over here. That's a sugar up there. Just in case you were wondering. Talk to him. You uh, you look like a shit. Yes. That's right. In that case, um, I tell you, these Ashina samurai got a stick so far up that. Yeah. You'd think you know. Of course, I okay. might take care of this and I'll let you. Of course. Yeah. I'll, I so he take care of this and I'll let you. He tells you to clear out the area. Which is what we are going to attempt to do.
And now you can see that this is like the easier way to go about it. Is when you when you come from this way, the enemies are spaced out a little better, and you can get that and get at them a little easier. So. a little sword fight. Okay. So this is the area I believe that he was talking about. Make sure everybody's dead. Okay. <clears throat> Gives you information about the purple, the purple smoke that are on the rooftops. All right. So now he is a merchant that is going to appear at the dilapidated temple. Make your way around this way. Up here. Right here. So I kind of wait until they stop throwing their little, their little things, their shurikens or whatever, whatever it is that they're throwing. Kind of wait for them to stop that, because if you get hit with one of those in midair, you can just drop to your death. It'll, it's, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. Again, just, you know, use be, these dudes, just be aggressive. And you'll, you'll overpower them every time. They also have like zero poise. <laughs> pretty much just pretty much just overpower them with a few swings anyway. Like But yeah, there's there's an enemy on that on the the kite and as soon as you get like right here, he comes down from the kite like straight at you. Bombardment style. You got quite a few enemies over here. It's gonna be a uh, enemy right there. <clears throat> if you're lucky, you can just kind of sneak past him. Sometimes, but I'm not usually that lucky. <laughs> you could try a, a sugar. That might help. A gotcha sugar. Hello, Scarlet. How are you today? Thanks for coming in. So we're going to go over here and get this one first. We were not quick enough. But usually if you're quick enough, you can kill both of them without being seen day is going well so far I hope yours is too all right we got one down here it's gonna be an enemy it's gonna pop up out of nowhere 
<clears throat> I just ignore him. This is a prayer bead. Uh, I stream Monday through Friday. <clears throat> About four hours, three to four hours each day. And at this same time. Once you got all this, you go up here, go this way, and then go ahead and tap him. <clears throat> I hope I rest. I hope I rested. I don't remember if I did, but open this up. And you're gonna take this one out first. This is a good farming route. Yes, thank you. Gray, how's it going? Good to see you. Glad my mods are, are here doing the thing. The last one right here. There are two more to the left. We're going to get them in a minute. You play just this game or any games as, uh, as well? I play mostly Souls stuff. Soulsborn streamer. I do play some other stuff once in a while. All right, you got four down here. I target the one closest to the door. <laughs> Typically you jump over there and then you can get him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die just to show you, just to show you how to do it. Cause it's not gonna, it's not a big deal. I don't know why I didn't my character didn't jump over there. That was weird. Like he just kind of dropped down. Like, yeah, you know, that's what we're doing. Alright, again you'll take him out. Then this one. You'll take out the enemy that serves as an alarm. And the one standing by the window. Keep it up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> now, this should work properly how it's supposed to. Oh, I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now... Target him in the back. Jump. There you go. <clears throat> and now use the door as a choke point. See what I mean? AI is not too smooth to figure out how the how the doorway, the, how the whole doorway system works. All right. Always kill first, loot last. That's nice that you work as a graphic artist for content creation mostly. So with that shortcut open, you'll grab this over here. <clears throat> and then this chest is going to be an item that you will need. It's not a bundled Jizu statue. It is actually this right here, the Sebimaru, We 
that you will need for a upcoming boss fight. You'll go over here, open this. Now, we're going to go this way. Um, I'm not, uh, you can, you can leave me how to find you on Discord. And then I'll get to it from there. So, that enemy over there, carrying the, uh, I'll probably say it wrong. Not Nagakiba. Um, he can be a real pain in the ass. As you can see. This dude's kind of unpredictable, if you ask me, in my own personal opinion. Give you a heavy coin purse. This boss is a pain. So then you'll you'll rest here. You don't have to rest. It's optional. <laughs> Grab this. And then go over this way. Dragon's Blood Droplet. And then... Yeah, <clears throat> there it is. Now you want to jump down here. And then drop in here. And right here. But they don't. No. Yeah. I'm out of coffee! Black hat that. Art peddler has been timed out. First, <laughs> yeah, down in the dumb shit that's what happens. <laughs> Could this day get any better? Something by the by, got the good. Okay, he sells items, um, various stuff. You can buy this. Ow, <laughs> big itch in my back. The anti air death blow text. So you can learn that. There's all kinds of good stuff here, <clears throat> but. This is probably the most useful thing that you're coming here for. And this is, you know, this is what it is. <laughs> well, I'll be. Come back in. Well, I'll be. All right. So, there's a lot of fun stuff out here. Whoops. Yeah, this this part this part if you don't do it stealth like kind of sucks then you have to you know power through it It's like, as much as he shoots down up there, you know, you'd think that they would hurt themselves doing it. Oh. So there's another one around here somewhere.
Here's the other side of the, uh, <clears throat> the area where you fought, um, what's his name? See the route to the snake? Snake. What are you talking about over here? Is that it? Just... <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Cool, I'm glad I stopped to watch that. Alright, there is another... Uh, rocket soldier. Yeah. I think it's up higher. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like, did he figure out how to shoot down here finally? gonna not move you don't know where I'm at maybe this will help <laughs> you can't see me I'm not here maybe nope Okay, there you go. There's a shiny over there on the, the roof of the black hat badger, like just below it. Oh wait, that dude's alive. Ah! <laughs> um, where was I? Alright, so back to that merchant. That merchant that was like, hey, I want to expand my shop. Go ahead, eavesdrop, you know, figure out what's going on here. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. Salt. We, cooking, we need course, salt. But we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. Mm -hmm. To rape people or die. Yes, sir. I see. Alright. We're going to take out the general first. <laughs> here <laughs> yeah just drop down the ledge okay now you'll eventually have to come through here but not right now right now we need to get we need to get up to the top of the castle Just to kind of, kind of bring all of this together. <clears throat> See, that's where you jump down from. So now we're gonna go back to the idol, and then we're gonna go back up to the upper tower antechamber. I think it's called. I think so. We'll see. Ashina Castle, yep, Upper Tower Antechamber. <sighs> now you'll see the... Now, when it comes time for you to get back to this point, you're going to want to go back to the dilapidated temple, and you're going to want to get this Sabimaru. 
you're going to want to get this prosthetic tool added to your equipped items. You will find out what it is for shortly. So go through this again. Go ahead, take him out. That one out. Take this one out. Now, the, <clears throat> for whatever reason, okay, <clears throat> this is the same, like, these two enemies, they both have the same, they both have the same moveset. However, the one that's closest to me, this one, is way more aggressive for whatever reason. So, I'm gonna take him out first. Now these these dudes are really good practice for sword play. Also, you know, getting used to your Makiri counter and stuff like that. They are very aggressive, but you can handle it, I'm sure. If you've made it to this point. You can handle the aggression. Go ahead and hug the wall. Grab this. I believe it's a prayer bead. Yeah. I think that's everything. Always make sure you clear it out. Go back the way you came. Grab any stuff you didn't pick up. Now, normally when I play Souls stuff and I am like kind of telling people or like kind of teaching or instructing or whatever, um, I will say it's best that you should fight everything, like clear out the area, make sure nothing's going to follow you. Um, you don't have to do that so much in Sekiro. You don't have to fight everything. Just pick your battles wisely. And, like, this is not a good area to fight in. There's two enemies here and then two more around the corner. So I typically just ignore them. <laughs> I go up here. And then grab the idol. reset the area and then you go back and get the items okay but yeah otherwise there's just there's just four enemies the in there Tell me, I think it's the pretty ridiculous some more lore okay so you want to make sure that you rest, that you have this area unlocked. So if you die here, you can come back there. Be sure to equip your Sabi Mario. <clears throat> I have the piercing Sabi Mario, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, this is going to be a little bit easier. Um, I suppose I, I could do it with the regular one. But, well, it's the same thing. You, you, get, you get exactly what it is. Actually, I think there's extra moves with the piercing Sabi Mario. Yeah, so this these have like upgraded poison. So I'll I'll go ahead and use this one, just to be fair. But you want Sabi Maru. That's why I had you go down to the bottom of this place to go get it. And 
now. We will... We're gonna unequip that. And then we're gonna grab one of these right here. And then go ahead and take that. And do this. Alright, back up. See, it's, it's slightly difficult, but you can do it. See? Now I'll do the same process again. I've never done that to the boss before. That's weird. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, um, you won't have puppeteer ninjutsu, obviously, so you'll just kill him once you're done with it. So. Die, will you? Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> oh, man. Really? He just won't die. <laughs> okay. There we go. That was pretty funny. Oh yeah. So with that done, get this. Hanging scroll in old battle. Avoid ground reversal lightning. Okay. And then it kind of shows you a little picture. You can go ahead and rest and replenish all your stuff. Let's see how much trouble new game Genichiro gives me. Um, my attack power is pretty high anyways, but fuck it. <laughs> we'll spend it anyway. <clears throat> all right, so that's all that. Um, go through here. Wait, I didn't know this. Does that always happen? The item? Maybe I didn't pick it up before. Alright. <clears throat> Grab this over here. And let's get into a boss fight. Let this cutscene go. His grandfather. Yes. Lord, How is Jesus. grandfather? It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. I can't. I can't really tell you how many times I've fought this boss. <laughs> like a lot. Like. Divine air. I'll ask you once more. At one point, I was like, I hate this dude so much, and I'm just gonna keep fighting him over and over and over again. Accept <laughs> me to your mortal oath. If bosses could talk, he'd be like, bro, I need you to leave me alone. That's what he would say. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. I am your nightmare, sir. Your victory that day means nothing. <laughs> He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. Seriously, like one of the best quotes, like in, in the game. And then boom, out pops Lord, Wolf. I have come for you. I'm here. 
Let's handle business and shit. That's what he said. You didn't listen close enough. Take a moment. Yep. And then he just said, fight me, bitch. I'll kill you, you son bitch. <laughs> Face me, Shinobi. Oh, all right, little bitch. You're lucky I'm on stream right now. I'd be beating the fucking brakes off him. <laughs> what? Come on now. That's been happening often. I, I want to restart. I can't I can't start out like that. We're not doing that. We're not we're not starting out like that. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. <clears throat> All right. He's going to be like face me, shoot you with an arrow. That's always going to be a Makiri counter in the first one. See what I mean? You know, just just watch for him. Mind your dodges and stuff, and like just pay attention to what he's doing. Don't let him get you with that one. It hurts a little bit. All right, that's phase two. All right, right away he's gonna jump right at you. Just make sure you do the Makiri counter. Shinobi of the divine air. That's all. And don't tell me it was impressive. I'm the one who fucking did it. Would you not answer to a different lord? <laughs> Heresy. I already knew it was impressive. Heresy, you say. Heresy, you say. What's up with his ankle? Alright, 
All right, see how bad I botched this shit. Just kidding. Just kidding. Have faith in me. Shit. <laughs> Jump, motherfucker. What? Weak. Weak sauce. They were like, no, you, you can't have that one. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nerd. Eat it. He's out, bitch. See? Simple. Super easy. I mean, we know hit the first two phases. I was going for the third phase to be a no hit, but you know, they robbed me on that whole fucking that uh, lightning exchange. They thought it was funny. You were victorious. I see. Damn right, Lady Emma. I was victorious. Are you do you know who I you're talking to know. here? Shinobi of the Divine A Lord Kenichiro. Is this the rejuvenating waters? It might be. <laughs> His ankle is back to normal. This slam is everything to me. For her sake. Isn't it Troy Baker's birthday or something today? Yes, Troy Baker did voice that boss there. So, and I'm pretty yes. sure it's his birthday today. I think. I seen it on I seen it on Twitter. I'm not I'm not like a super fan of Troy Baker. I, I just I saw it on Twitter. All right. Damn, I really thought that was gonna take me longer than like nine minutes. <laughs> Just... I'd be trying to space it out. I'm like halfway through the game and shit. It's only been two and a half hours. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a little, little more than like, maybe almost half. At long last, I give you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Make sure that you, you know, exhaust all this dialogue here. Rest here. <sighs> Talk to Curl. I have come for you. Yes. Let us go. We must leave. Wolf. My blood. The we must the leave. Yes, I wish. I'm sure, however, but I'm first, we have stuff to do. I wish, Wolf. You will help, Curl. Father, I cannot. Wait, wait, wait. You Father, will help, Curl. I, <laughs> I cannot. You will not. You. That was the do How many times? <clears throat> or perhaps this decision doesn't matter as much as the, Lord, the some doesn't other matter. decisions I later on. To an eternity of undeath, Wolf. See, he talks shit Will to you, you about dying voice? a bunch. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. It's like, dude, why'd you die so much? I don't know if the dialogue changes if you've never died. I don't know if that happens. If we are seeking to sell wolf. Give you the immortal severance it's text. An ancient record that was kept. In Sacred dragon teeth. Yes. Yes. But yeah, go do all of this. Get all this wolf. stuff. That it belonged to a. 
Go ahead and examine the burner. Go through all of the dialogue. That wolf. Now I look. More dialogue. <sighs> Are we there yet? Are you there yet? You good? Okay. Lord Ish, however, his health is a How do I get in? On the roof. They tell you I've which way you're supposed to go. Use, use the smoke signals. Behind his re I mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, so you can see here's the purple smoke. There's more purple smoke. There's more purple smoke. And voila! About the divine heir's life. Sup, old man. There is something there. Saki. What? Saki! My grandson, Genichiro, was. Be, you did well to put a stop to that. You have my thing. Yeah, no problem. Ah, Your grandson's kind of a pushover. Yo -yo. That boy <laughs> found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travel. Uh huh. Right. Don't you think? Sure. Or, so what do you. Uh, go ahead and do that. The more, if you have, the with it. One who. The I have not, but it's. It tells you about the mortal blade. Where is this? You'll want to know where to find it. In Senpo, in Senpo However, Temple. Say the mortal. What do you mean? I, hmm. The gates to another part of the abandoned dungeon just outside of Ashinaka. If you can pass through its waterways. Okay, and then uh, Lord, do this. Be. Make sure you exhaust all the dialogue. <clears throat> you can give him a drink if you want. Plans and if you hesitate, See? You'll be swept and Don't hesitate. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Sekiro. Hesitate, hesitate, and you lose. And you... That's, how this, that's how this works. You hesitate, you lose. Make sure he's all exhausted with the dialogue. Sekiro, what is it you... Okay. You're leaving, Sekiro. Yes. Another, Another time. Alright. We're gonna go back to Lord Kuro. You can hear Lord Curl so you've met me. sneezing a little bit. I see. To think that Lord rejuvenating. That's Keep the thanks. The what my, oh, I'm not exhaust the dialogue. Did you I did. And We've I part of quests. I've come and I will. Okay. There was a back then. I see. It is my. So also, this is where you'd like upgrade your yes, healing gourd I'm sure stuff like that even yes. bring me gourd. i don't think i have any gourd Medicinal seeds right now but seeds if you find them. Right. you'll find them throughout the world and stuff like that yeah goodbye okay actually there's a note yeah you get the note it says i've opened the library meet me there <clears throat> grab this item Talk to Kuro. I have returned. Oh, did you meet? I did. He said it, Welcome. It's a, I see. As you exhaust all this dialogue, and then <clears throat> the flower. Give you a note. This is, tells you just basically where to find the flower. What is? Lord Takeru, I was looking for information. There is water that flows, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower. It appears to be one. A place, perhaps in. Yes. Into the fountainhead waters. Okay, it's Sunken Valley. The a shrine dedicated and to that's what I was talking about with the Sunken Valley stuff. No that that one path where, like, we need salt. My lord. That bell. It reminds the me. The bell. Of... Forgive me. You brought it all this way to. I've heard there's a rundown temple on the outskirts of Ashina, where one can offer items with a significant. Lady Emma. Oh. Once that temple. Wolf. I wonder what temple they're talking about. It's it's the dilapidated temple, and you, oh, yeah, 
That's right. That door, Lord Ish. I haven't. It a takes you to Harada Estate. As he mentioned, Shinobi. Actually, I should have went to Harada before this. So, I I sort of did this out of order. Okay. Um. So once once you have the, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this real quick. Um. Once you have the the Sabi Maru, okay. Once you have Sabi Maru, you are supposed to go here. Where is it? Yeah, right here. You have Sabi Maru, and you will stop at this idol, okay. It's recommended to stop at this idol, and then open this door, okay. Just open the door. Like if you if you have trouble with Genichiro, okay, stop at this idol. Only open this door. Go back to the idol. Then you're gonna go to Harada Estate. Go to Estate Path, and you're gonna go finish this instead. Because there's a couple of prayer beads you can get out of this area, and power up before you go and fight Genichiro. So again, that door is open on the end. You can fight everything over here if you want. Go ahead and go. I like to take out the heavier, the heavier one. Make sure that you have your axe equipped. So yeah, if you're if you're new and you're struggling with Kanichiro, I recommend you go do this. Axe will always split shields. Yeah, if you're a new player, you should definitely do this first. Do this before you go and fight Genichiro and the uh, the the swordsman that's behind that door that you opened up. Now, kind of watch out for for the for the spearman right there, militiaman. Take him out. Now everybody's gonna see you anyways. Just go ahead and take him out here. Go up here. Of course the enemies that dwell up here, not up here, for some stupid reason. Get up. The hook. Alright. There's one more we need to take care of. Now the mini boss that's here is very easy to take care of as long as you have the Makiri counter skill unlocked. Oh, he's stuck there. So we'll go put him out of his misery. All right. Now, as long as he can't see you, go ahead and sneak up on him, give him the old poke. Just 
So that's what happens when you miss your Makiri counter. And then that's done. You get a prayer bead for that. Go up here, rest. <clears throat> All right, to the left here. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> ah, we're having a great time. Okay, get up here and then make sure they don't see you. Now you're gonna go up here. Take him out. Take the one out in front of you. Take this one out. Then get the ones on the stairs. One hanging around here somewhere. And you see the two right there, one right there. Now, you can go all the way down there and kill them if you want the, you know, skill points and send, but I'm not. You don't have to. It's like a detrimental that you kill those. Kill those guys. All right. Again, with the oil. Make sure you equip that. Just, just make things easy for yourself. You don't, you don't have to go power through everything. Get the flame vent. And you're going to want to, you're going to want to bait him off of the bridge. The reason why you're like baiting him off of the bridge is because there's a, there's an archer in the back there. He'll just keep firing at you. And watch out, cause that, uh, that weapon hurts. Does some pretty good damage. you have it equipped which I do not then run over here and take out the archer then the shieldman grab this there's a shiny over there. You can go get that if you want. It's just a simple <clears throat> back up this way. <clears throat> you go in here. Father. Uh, I'm afraid not bother tending to my well. Mm hmm Yes. This Gives you the hidden key. temple key. Okay. Up. Up. Over here. Ah! 
It's okay if that happens. Gonna be some enemies over here, as you can see. We want to go this way. I bet you can find totally in control by now. Yeah. If anyone's gonna get out, their only choice is to use this cave. Don't let. And then they tell you where to go. Be quick or be dead over here. So. Okay. Now go through the cave. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, see, technically, when you go and do this before you go fight Ganitro, um, it's, uh, like I said, it's the path of least resistance, so. I do have a... Yeah. <clears throat> Grab that. The enemy to the right. Just run up and kill him. Mingo. That's pretty funny. Alright, so I tend to, you know, jump up here on the roof and wait for these wait for these two these two to come walking by. Take out the big guy. Then the archer. Get over here. Kind of wait for wait for people to look a different way and the enemies to path the other way. Actually, I want fire. Need fire over here. You will need more oil, and more fire here in just a minute. <laughs> Mingu's quite the jokester today. Telling our good friend Grade A gamers that the last the last boss of Elden Ring is six phases. <laughs> Take him out first. Then him. There are two, maybe three enemies in here and some useful shinies if you go through this area. You can also crawl around through the bottom of it. There's a hole somewhere. But that's not important. Okay. Now we'll see if I can do this part properly. Need our axe as well. Alright, so <clears throat> path of least resistance is through here. Kill him. Kill him. 
loot. Go through here. Now, <clears throat> there are several enemies out here and a minibus. You want to kill that one first? Not that one. This one right in front of me. Then go over there and take that archer out over there. Then those two. Then take out the second shieldman. Then the other guy. You'll, you'll see. Hopefully I can make it work properly. Over here. And go kill him. Get this one. Back up. Get this one. Get this one. This one. Oh, wrong weapon. All right. You're going to make big boy follow you in the here. We want him to get stuck in this hallway. So let him come in here a little more and bail out on him. Go back over here. Wait for that music to stop. Get your oil equipped. Get your flamethrower equipped. That big fella's gonna make his way to the middle over there. This is gonna be real quick. Okay? So pay attention. <laughs> you don't have to, like, stealth through here. I'm just doing it for effect. <laughs> All right, target him. Slowly walk up. Give him the business. Take the target lock off. Run over here. Quickly talk to this NPC. All right, go ahead and throw some oil at him. Very carefully set him on fire. You toss some more oil at him. See, and he's already half dead. But mind your mind your peas and cubes over here, because you will die very very quickly. care of him you'll get a prayer bead for that and then go ahead and talk to the NPC I don't know why I keep stuttering like that it's weird it's hard unless I'm going ahead. so yeah it, he'll tell you go yeah go on ahead okay so you fulfilled the NPC's wish and you got a prayer bead out of it out of it at the same time. All right, there's stuff in here as well. Just make sure you look around. There are enemies walking around. through 
this door. Here, grab that. Mm, there's something else in here. Oh, right here. Grab that. The divine confetti. This should be a prayer bead or something. Yep. Go back out. Do 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 do. Um, not that way though. Grab this. Grab this. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then go ahead and rest. <clears throat> oh. We're gonna I'm gonna fight this boss real quick before I before I go. I know it's usually the end of my day right now, but I'm gonna fight this boss first. Uh so we'll do this. It's gonna be an enemy at the end of the hall. Talk to him. He'll give you a snap seed. But he only gives you one. So you're like, oh man, cool, one snap seed. But that's why you went and picked up five earlier when you were messing around over by the snake. So you should have plenty of snap seeds if you so choose to use them. You don't have to. It's but I can I can show you what they do. In here. And then you're gonna go in here. Oh, make sure you have shurikens. Shurikens will help you out quite a bit. <clears throat> Mother? The butterflies. Everyone is gone. My lord. Technique. Oh. Snap out of it. <laughs> it's been a long time, son of owl. I need butterfly. Leave us. Who are they? Do what must be done. Yes. You heard me. I said leave us. <laughs> I got fighting to do. Now that sun out, shall we dance? All right. So it's typically how it starts out. That's the reason why I said have shurikens equipped. Quite a bit, the shurikens do. Now, there's a there's a thing you can do when you jump over somebody. I just don't use it because I find it faster to just jump and come down instead of using the uh, 
the skill that you bounce off people's heads. Now run over here when you do the you get done with the first phase, go over here. Show you what these snap seeds do. Go ahead and hit her a bunch. All right, so now the snap seeds should take care of these things over here. Takes care of the illusions. But see, if you only have one, it sucks. <laughs> so that's why I think the snap seeds are kind of useless. So I don't bother with them. camera boss all right so now I'll show you without snap seeds so without snap seeds you just run back and forth either side whatever side you choose stand over here let them come to you and when they get close we'll run to the other side All right, so she snapped. Stay right here. Don't move. And you avoid all that, and then go back out and fight. Whoops. A little bit of ill timing, but that's okay. Oh shit, we're about to die. And we did die. Perfectly okay. But that's essentially how you handle this fight very easily. And obviously, since you watch the cutscene, you don't have to do it again. <clears throat> now, it's best to use the shuriken when, uh, when she's, when she's flipping through the air. Not when she's actually standing on it. Cause then she'll just block the shurikens. See, like that. Okay. And then it takes damage like that. Run back to the run back to the statue. <laughs> and get a couple of hits in. The illusions do damage. Like some pretty decent damage, actually. Alright, so I might actually get hit by one of those. Maybe not.
So now you, you can keep trying to fight her while the illusions are out, but it's kind of difficult to like have to deal with all of that while you're trying to fight. So it's okay. It's not a race. <laughs> Unless you're speed running. Then it is kind of a race. Now, a lot of these bosses I showed you with me using the least amount of, like, the least amount of stuff possible. Least amount of resources, uh, least amount of shinobi weapons, so that way you can hold on to your uh, spirit emblems for when you actually need them. So. There were very little shurikens and other stuff being thrown. I wonder who that sword belongs to. <laughs> we'll find out. Soon enough. And then after this cutscene, you can go ahead and, you know, give yourself a round of applause for a job well done and on my clappy claps and little pat pats and things like that. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. And there you go. It's all tied together as to why you have that blood. Why you were allowed to resurrect. And you're all done. This is all... <clears throat> so that's the first part of the game and Harada Estate knocked out. Uh, Genichiro knocked out. And all that stuff. So, with that, you can go ahead and rest up. Replenish everything. And then... You can go ahead and I can close this game out now. So yeah, I hope everybody had a good time today. Good time today hanging out with me. And um, if you didn't know about Sekiro, I hope you learned a little more today. And once again, I want to thank everybody at, at home who watches the VOD and can't get here live because I greatly appreciate it. Without y'all, the... The, the the wheels don't turn you know we can't we we can stream and we can make videos but without everybody seeing it there's no point you know so i definitely thank each and every one of you for being here thank you so very much i hope you have a good rest of the day and try your best to be nice to people okay okay off i go